Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this video series on Java Technologies Lab. So in this video, I am going to tell you how to download SQLite DBMS and also the uh, SQLite JDBC driver. Okay. So open Google and type SQLite download. Okay. So the first uh, result will be from sqlite.org download. So click that. Mm, you will see a page like this. Scroll down a little. So we are looking for Windows, right? So you need to download this file. Okay. And you also need to download this file. So download this. Uh, SQLite DLL Win64 zip file and also you download SQLite Tools Win32 zip file. Okay, download these two files, they are small files and I have already downloaded them. Uh, one is this one and another one is this one. Okay, so I am opening the first file Win64 file. You will have two files in this sqlite3.def and sqlite3.dll. Similarly, I am opening the second one. Uh, you will have a folder like this. If you open this folder, you will have three files. Okay. So, in total, we have five files three here and two more in the other file. Okay. Two, two plus three, total five files. So, what I have done is I have created a separate folder called sqlite. So you can also create this folder and inside this folder, I have placed all the five files. Okay. So just now I told you, you know, there are two plus three, five files. These are the five files. One, two, three, four, five. This thing will not be there. The, uh, this is a database that I have created. We will uh, see this later in the next video. You should have all these five files here. Okay. Now there is. Uh, one more step what you need to do is you just click on this bar you copy this path copy and now what you need to do is you go to uh, you click this this pc properties and on the right hand side you click advanced system settings okay you click on environment variables and here in the system variables you come down to something called path okay you highlight this and you click edit okay and for you it this will not be there okay so what you have to do is you have to click on new and you should paste here like this okay I have already done it. So I am deleting the second one. So you should see something like this. Okay. And click on this. Okay. Button. Okay. Okay. That's all. So that is the configuration you need to do. Right. And so this step is over. And the second thing you need to download is this maven repository go to go to the maven repository so this link i am going to provide in the description don't worry so in the video description you can see these links this one and the second uh, previous one also i will provide both the links so when you click the link you will see a page like this sqlite jdbc so this provides the driver that we need to write the program and then you click this version 3.40.1.0 this is the latest version you click that link and here you will see something called jar okay 12.2 mb you click this link and you will download this file okay so after downloading you will get a file like this this one sqlite jdbc 3.40.1.0 so this is the 12 MB file you will download. Okay, that's all. You keep it like you you keep this file somewhere. Uh, we will use this file in the 
uh, next video when we are writing the program okay so this is how you download sqlite dbms and also the sqlite jdbc driver so i will talk about what is the need of this driver etc in the next video so don't worry the theory will be explained in the next video so this video is just uh, telling you how to download the necessary software for executing the second lab program okay so if you like this video click the like button and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section so that's all thank you